produced at Reeves Teletape, New York City. see ya. Welcome to Sesame Street. You know, it's such a beautiful day out today, I decided to get up a little extra early and take a jog around the block. I'll be right back. Okay, Susan. Whoop. The coast is clear. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. You got enough music, yeah, right? Yeah, I got the music. Oh, hi. You know what? <laughs> We're going to surprise Bob. Yeah, we're going to stand under his window and sing a song to him that he wrote. <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? Oh, well, there are the guys. Hey, hey oh, you got the music. Let me get the music. Yeah, you got the music. Okay, hold it for me. Okay. 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 Here's a note. Um, no, that, is that how it starts? That's it. That's it. That's it. You ready? Yeah. A one, a two, a one, two. I'm a guy from the Midwest, always thought Midwest was best, but I love my home right here, it gets better every year, oh I love this street, this street, this street, oh I come from far away, yes I love this street, this street, this street, and here is where I'll stay. Well, he must be a heavy sleeper. Oh, now what? Well, I, uh, let's uh, call him on the phone and sing to him. Sing oh, to him. Oh, yeah, 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 why not? Come on. Uh, no, no. Hey, it's been done before. Wait, 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 wait. It's ringing, it's ringing. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it's still ringing. Boy, he really must be a heavy sleeper. Oh, man. Well, maybe he's not there. No, nah, he's got to be there. I got an idea. Well, let's, let's go. go. Let's go ring his doorbell. Hey, I got a better idea than that. What? I got a set of keys. Oh! oh, 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 oh boy, is he going to be surprised? Oh, hello, Bob. Hey, 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 Bob. A little out of breath, but it feels really good. That feels so good. If I can catch my breath, I feel like singing. Would you like to hear a song I've been working on? No one's heard it yet except Susan. It's kind of nice. It, uh, it goes like this. I'm a guy from the Midwest. Always thought Midwest was best. But I like my home right here. It gets better every year. Yes, I love this street, this street, this street, though I come from far away. Yes, I love this street, this street, this street, and here is where I'll stay. Well, how'd you like it, huh? Yeah! We loved it! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, you can't what say you... we didn't surprise them. What, how'd you get up there? From the Midwest. Always thought Midwest was How'd you learn the song? I taught it to you. Yeah, right. It gets better every day. We're learning Logo. It's a computer language. It tells our computers what to do. The 
computer has keys with letters and numbers on it like a typewriter. When I press a key, a letter or number appears on the screen. No, R This is the screen. This is the turtle. The turtle is a little triangle on the screen. When I type with direction with the keys, the turtle moves in the direction I tell it to. It leaves a little line behind it. I can make a square by typing the directions that I want the turtle to move in. Emmy, would you like to save your picture? Yes, I would. May I please have a disc? Okay. Here you are. Thank you. Okay. Type save. Okay. I type in instructions, and my computer records my picture. Later on, I will put this disk into my machine, and it will tell my computer what to do. See, there's my square. is a letter, the letter Y. Do you know how I know? It looks like the trunk of a tree where the yellow yahoos go. Listen, yahoo, there's a yahoo now. I know I hear a sigh, sigh. She's just waking up from a nap in the tree that looks like a Y. Watch it now, he's up with a yell, yahoo, yip, 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 yip. What do you think your mother would do if you yelled like the yellow yahoo? Boo. After a yell and a tasty lunch, munch, munch, a yellow yahoo rubs his tummy. When you ask him if his lunch was good, he answers, yes, quite yummy. And then, and then, the yahoo yawns. 
He yawned, that yellow yahoo. Then it's up the tree and fast asleep, and then to dream about you. He dreams about you, the yellow yahoo, through the night under the sky, by the tree that looks like a Y. Say, Myrtle, what kind of a bird do you think that is? I'm a macaw. I'm a macaw. It's a macaw, Myrtle. Who's Myrtle? Ah. Yep. Well, I'll be seeing you, Chester. Well, so long, Snooks. Don't uh-oh, everybody look out. Here comes the meanest hombre in the West. Sinister Sam. Sinister Sam? Oh, no. All right, listen, you varmints. I was just over at the general store, and I understand that some hombre bought the last box of crayons. Well, I want to know why. Hmm? Who was it that bought that last box of crayon? Huh? Look, feller. <laughs> were it you? No, Sam. It weren't me. I ain't got no crayons at all. You sure of that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you? It weren't me, Sam. I got enough crayons at home to last me forever. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> How about you, old timer? No, Sam. It weren't me. It weren't you? You better not be lying, because I got you covered. Hmm. Hey. How about you? Hi. You sneaking, sniveling hombre. <laughs> you snake hiding behind his hat. Rack. <laughs> Listen. What? If it were you yeah. what took them crayons, uh, you better fess up right now. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Citizen Sam, for me, uh, I, I went to the general store and I got in a box of crayons. Well, I want to know why. I don't know, they're kind of pretty. Give me them crayons. Now, come here. Take a look at this. I want to know why. Now is, now, is this a why right here? Now, look at this. Oh. See, if you got one line that goes down like that. See? Yeah. And then you got one line that goes like that. Yeah. And then if you got one line that goes down like that. Yeah. See? Now, look at that. Now, is that a why? Yeah, yes, Mr. Mm. Sam, that's a why, all nobody, right. Nobody Ooh, never taught like me it. how to do a why, but yeah. that that is a why. That's a why. That's a why. That's a why. That's a why. Yeah, that's a why. Yeah, yeah, that's a why. Well, you mean, good. You mean, when you say you were looking for a why, why about the crayons, you were looking for the letter why, how to draw the letter why? That's right, fella. Here's your crayon back. Oh, I'll see you guys around, huh? Well, wow, I'll be, be gone. gone. Amor? Si, amor. Professor Fred here, and today, with the help of Marlena and Michelle and Kim and Billy and Michael, well, we're going to teach about the parts of the body. Marlena. Marlena, yeah. And first of all, we've got uh, our face. Everybody touch your face. Good, good. And on your face, right up here, 
on your face, uh, two uh, things that you see with, uh, and you wear blinkers uh, on. What are they? Uh, eyes. That's right. Everybody touch your eyes, but close your eyes first before you touch them. Yeah? Real good. Okay. Now, right down between your eyes is this long thing with two holes in the end that you use to smell with. What's that called? No. Nose. Your nose. Everybody touch your nose. Yeah? Good. Good. Okay. Now, on either side of your head, you got these two sticky out pointy things here that are called your what? That you hear with them. What are ears. Your ears. Let's see. Everybody touch your ears. Yes. Yeah. Say, yours are kind of low she down there, aren't earrings. they? They don't stick up much either. She gets earrings. Yeah, well, oh. Look at them. Yeah, you can put earrings on ears. That's true. I'm going to put red earrings. Oh, that'll be nice. I well, now earrings. let me continue on here. Down, down underneath your nose is this thing that you talk with and you eat hay with. What's it called? Mouth. Your mouth. Everybody touch you... your mouth. Can, oh. Could you eat hay? Yeah, sure. And cows? Oh, I don't... Well, cows eat hay, sure. And, 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 um, and lambs? Oh, lambs eat hay? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Okay, now... <laughs> everybody open your mouth. Uh, I see. Uh, yeah, those are your mouths, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Now, hanging down from your shoulders are two long things for reaching out. Everybody hold them up. Hold them up. Now, those are called your front legs, right? Yeah. No, it's huh? hands. You said, what? What are those things you got up in the air that hang from your shoulders? Hands. And arms. Arms. Oh, your, they're elbows. arms, huh? Well, mine are called front legs. Anyway, elbows. at the end of your arms Look and my front me. legs are two things called hooves, right? Yeah. Where are your hooves? Right here. Right here. They're funny looking hooves. Yeah. They're feet. Huh? They're, they're feet. Could you what, on your hands? You got feet on your arms? No. That's, wait a minute. I'm getting confused here. These are your feet. Wait a minute. You call those things the, on your shoulders your arms, right? Well, what do you call the things on the end of your arms? Huh? Hands. Hands. Billy's right. They're your hands. That's absolutely right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me see something here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Where are your tails? We don't have tails. You don't have tails? No. Well, tarnation, where are they? Ponies? What kind of ponies are you? Ponies are supposed to have tails. We're not ponies. We're kids. We're kids. Some duration, I believe. You're right. Maybe I should teach the alphabet instead. One chicken, two chickens, three chickens, four chickens. is growing. Oh, a newsstand. I think I'll get a magazine to read on the subway. Let's see, uh, wait a minute. House unbearable? 
What kind of magazine stand is this? Grouch and Garden. Wait a minute. Well, I wonder who's running this place. Hey, is anybody here? Hold your horses. What do you want? Oscar. Yeah. What are you doing running in this newsstand? Well, my friend Sid Sourpuss usually runs it. I'm just filling in for him today. Sid Sourpuss? What, yeah. what, you mean this is a grouch newspaper stand? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got all the, the worst grouch newspapers and oh, magazines no. you can get. Well, yeah, like the Destruction Digest. Destruction Digest, no. Yeah, I, maybe I, you'd I like to I'm... read Road and Crash. Road and Crash. Yeah, how about meddling magazines? No, that's not what I had in mind, Oscar. No, well, I... Trash Can Life is always good. U.S. No, grouch, how about that? Oscar. Look, I'm in much too good a mood to read any of these grouchy magazines. I mean, don't you have anything else besides this? Yeah, 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 I got something you'll like. It doesn't have huh? one single grouchy word in it. Not one grouchy word. You're sure nope, about that? not one word. Okay, well, how much is it? One dollar. A dollar? Yeah. Magazines okay. are going up. Sure are. There you are. I keep it under the counter here. Don't want anybody to see it. Here you go. Okay, let me take a look at this. Uh... Wait a minute. Oscar? Yeah? There's nothing in here. These pages are blank. Yeah, it's just like I what? said. You won't find one single grouchy word in it. But <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> missing something. Yeah, he has no legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not right. Try another one. No. no. That's not right either. <laughs> no. That looks funny. That, that looks, looks like a gorilla's right. leg. <laughs> a ballerina. <laughs> no, try another one. Yeah, that's right. It's a rabbit! And now we take you to Kermit the Frog for another fast-breaking news story. Hey, Jeff, how's the wife? What? She's on camera? Oh, I'm on camera. Oh, <clears throat> uh, hi there, uh, Kermit the Frog of Sesame Street News, uh, reporting to you today from the house of the three little pigs. And uh, today we're expecting the big bad wolf to drop around. And But first, uh, Hark, I, I believe this is uh, one of the three little pigs here. Uh, uh, pardon me, uh, pig. Uh, excuse me. Can I uh, can I ask you, Kermit the Frog of Sesame Street News? Can I, can I ask you a question or two? Uh, for instance, uh, could you tell me what this house is built of? <coughs> straw. Uh huh. Straw. Mm -hmm. Straw. Yes. Uh, well, could you tell us uh, exactly why you built your house out of straw? Because. <coughs> Because mm -hmm. straw is light and mm -hmm. easy to carry, and when we get hungry, we mm -hmm. can nibble on a wall or two, yeah. even. Well, don't you think it would have been better to build a house out of wood or bricks or something like that? Right. In case, in case uh, somebody like, a, oh, I don't know, maybe a big bad wolf were to come along and huff and puff and blow the house down? <coughs> blow this house down? Yeah, well... I worked four days on this house. This is a strong house. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> blow this house down? <laughs> Well, uh, Blow this house down? <laughs> oh, I gotta tell the guys that. That's a good one. <laughs> well, he's, uh, Tis to laugh. <laughs> he seems to take the whole subject rather lightly, but, uh, Hark, what do I see coming I'm now? Gonna cook you it's a large, supper. shaggy thing. Uh, pardon yes, me, I... uh, uh, pardon me, but are, are you indeed the uh, big bad wolf himself? Oh, I am indeed. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, who? Uh, can, uh, can you tell me uh, exactly uh, what you had in mind uh, coming around here today? Oh, yeah. Well, you see, this is where the three little pigs live. Uh, true. Yeah. And I got some business with them, because I'm going to make them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, do you mind if, uh, if, uh, if we from Sesame Street uh, stand around uh, to watch? Okay, but you better stand back. Okay, I'll just go right over here. I'll just treat Little pig, little pig, open the door. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Just one second. Uh, uh, just, just a minute. Uh, there's a tradition here. Uh, the big bad wolf is supposed to say, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Oh, yeah. That's the line, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And somehow I thought he would say that. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Stand by, folks. Here it comes. <laughs> Oh, there he goes, folks. That wolf is puffing and puffing, and it's really quite a, good heavens, it's quite a breeze he's got going here. We'll see if he's able to blow the house down here. Uh, 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 he's really blowing hard. You talk about a strong breath, folks. My heavens. Uh, whoop, uh, uh. Good uh, remember you saw it here on Sesame Street, folks. Well, as you can see, folks, the uh, house is still standing, and the uh, wolf is still flying, and so this is Kermit the Frog, and the uh, the wolf is now returning me to to Sesame Street. Second game. Oh, Ernie. Oh, what's the matter, Bert? Oh, boy, you scared me, Ern. I did? Oh, yeah. I'll oh, see. All I said was, hi, Bert, it's time for our checker game. That, that didn't seem so frightening. Well, no. See, it's just that I was reading and I didn't think you were here. Oh. Uh. You didn't think I was here? No. Uh. Well, gosh. Maybe I'm not. Huh? I say, maybe I'm not here, Bert. Why? Well... Ernie, that's silly. I, I don't know. You're a pretty smart guy, Bert. And... What you think is usually true. Oh, well, thanks, sir. And but if you think I'm not here, then, well, gee, Bert, maybe I'm not here. Good. Good. If you're not here, Ernie, then I can go back to reading my book. Oh. But if I'm not here, the question is, 
Where am I? Oh, boy. It's gonna be one of those days. I'm not here. I could be anywhere. Hmm. Let's see. Ernie? Ernie, what are you doing? I'm looking for me, Bert. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, I thought maybe I could be out taking a walk on Sesame Street, you know? But I'm not, Bert. Of course you're not, Ernie. I'm not taking a walk on Sesame Street. But if I'm not here, then I'm lost. I can't stand it. Bert, I'm all alone uh. out there somewhere, wandering through some spooky forest or some lonely road, maybe. Oh, oh, this is terrible. I'll never see me again. Ernie, Ernie. OK, control yourself, Ernie. Oh. Ernie. <laughs> Easy now. Oh, I miss me. Oh, will you oh. stop this, Ernie? Oh. Now, look, I can prove to you that you are here. You can, Bert? Yeah, now, oh, you get our hand mirror there. Get uh, that. The mirror, Bert? Yeah, get that. Yeah. Okay, now what's that? Oh, it's a mirror, Bert. No, I mean, look inside. Look, look, in, look at the mirror. Look at the mirror. What is it? What do you see? <gasps> why, why, Bert, I see me. Right. That's me in the mirror there, Bert. Right, and if you see yourself in the mirror, Ernie... Yes, then I must be here. Exactly. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, it's so good to see me again. Yeah, well, good, good. I'm going to go finish oh. my reading now, Ernie. Whew. Hey, that's great. <sighs> hmm. Oh, nice to see me there. Hi, Bert, I'm here. <laughs> hey, it's time for our checker game. I'm here. Ernie, hmm? Ernie, we cannot play checkers. We can't? <laughs> Why no. not? I'm here. Yeah, yeah, Ernie. That's right. You're here, Ernie. You're here. But I'm not! I'm going to tell you where it's at. This is a story about a hat. A cat with a hat. A fat cat with a hat. The fat cat with a hat sat on a mat. A bat. A bat. A bat scared the fat cat. You made me make my hat flat. 
said the fat cat to the bat. Now scat! And that was at. I have a chair Gets me from here to there Takes me most anywhere The any two feet could take me I have a chair Helps me to get around Gets me to where I'm bound Just as fast as shoes could make me Or faster than shoes And my chair goes forward Or it can go back I can make it spin Or it's round a track You murdered enough fair. May you go to the go zoo, but you did a snap. You snap. You did it, you know. No, 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 Zoo! No, uh, playground. Zoo! Playground. That is not fair! Well, you did it, you would take a nap. And you... But me, me no need a nap. No, so now we may wait. Now we go zoo. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause me have nap. And nice to me. Not wake up. Uh, so now, me should be nice. Yeah, go zoo. Okay, we go to the... Uh, no zoo. No playground. Nap. Brand X. time we meet at work or the street we always say hello but you say hola and i say hola it's, it's a word that we both know hola means hi hello not goodbye why everywhere you go the girls say hola the boys say hola cause hola means hello It's not just a fat tail, mommy and dad, that all has what to say. So try and all I repeat, say all I tell them all I's here to stay. 
Latins from Alaska, or from Spain, or from Nebraska will say hola when they mean hello. Latins from Havana, or Detroit, or old Montana, no, that's just how the old greeting goes. Latins from Queens and the hip Argentines say hola when greeting each other. We know the way we can all say hola, what's happening, brother? Take it from us and don't make a fuss. We want you in the know. So just say hola, come on, say hola. Say hola instead of hello. your old pal, Professor Grover. And today, I am going to speak to you about listening. Yes, listening is very important. Hey, is this a tree we're it is important cut down? because yeah, you can hear pretty it. music well, if you listen, started, and you okay. can listen to friends talking. But I'm going to talk to you about listening today because listening can warn you about danger. Say, for instance, you listen and you hear a little kitty cat going meow, 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 meow. It could mean that that little kitty cat is in danger. It could be caught up in a tree somewhere. And you could help it down if you listen and hear the meow meows. Then maybe, oh, you listen and you hear a horn honking from an automobile. If you hear the horn honking, that means the automobile might be coming in front of you, so you step back. You see? So remember, listening is a very good way to avoid danger. Ah! It also helps to be lucky. <laughs> Why? Now look here, R2. You're going to have to go much slower if you expect me to understand you. Yes, I can see you're happy. I can see that very well. You're moving around as fast as you can and beeping away like mad. But why? What makes you so happy? Oh, so that's it. You're in love. Well, that was sudden. Where did you meet? Right here on Sesame Street. Extraordinary. Tell me what she looks like. She's quiet, very polite, hardly says a word. She's short. She's shorter than you are. And she has a pointed head. Most extraordinary. Where is she now? Over there. Where? Don't look. What do you mean, don't look? I won't embarrass you and I won't stare. I just want to see what this wonderful creature looks like. Oh, do be quiet, R2. You're happy and you're in love, and that's wonderful. I just want to meet her, so kindly take me over and introduce me. What do you mean you're shy? You haven't been shy since the day you were assembled. Now just pull yourself together and introduce me. Come on. Well, where is she? I can't see her. Where is she? Oh, all right, I will be quiet, but... So that's the love of your life? R2, that's a fire hydrant. I'm telling you, that's a fire hydrant. Firemen come along, attach their hoses to it, turn it on, and water comes out. I'm not joking. Oh, R2, don't be sad. You know what they say. It's better to have loved a fire hydrant than never to have loved at all. Well... I think that's what they say. Hi there. 
I'm a parrot. Do you see me? I'm sitting right over here. See me yet? Look, I'll wink my eye. See that? Okay, I'll give you another clue. I'll move my wing. You still didn't see me? Huh. Well, all right. I'll fly around a bit. Then you can see me. Okay, now that you've seen me, I'm going back. Now watch so that you don't forget where I am. Atop this hill, this place just suits me to a tea all alone, my apple tree and me. Now friends are nice when you laugh and play, but everyone needs quiet times away, and this is where I love to be all alone. My apple tree, a squirrel, and me. I love this time just to sit and think, where time passes by quick as you can wink. It seems so right, ideally, all alone. My apple tree, a squirrel, a birdie, and me. Times I love just to be with Bert, but time by myself never seems to hurt. The peace and calm fill my heart with glee all alone. My apple tree, a squirrel, a birdie, a hornet's nest, and me. We all need time just to find our space. Get away from the noisy race. What bliss, what heaven, it can be all alone. My apple tree, a squirrel, a birdie, a hornet's nest, a pussy cat, and me. I can skip a rope, I can ride a bike, but sitting here's what I really like, resting on the grass so happy and free all alone. My apple tree, a squirrel, a birdie, a hornet's nest, a pussy cat, a cow, and me. Wait a minute, a cow? Cows can't climb trees. No wonder I had such difficulty climbing up here. Would you care for an apple? Hi, uh, do you work here? Work here? I am the bridge keeper. Oh, uh, how much is it to cross the bridge? To cross this bridge is completely free. Just show me a triangle. Make it three. I just have to show you three triangles? Okay. Uh, oh, look at the bridge work here. This wood makes a triangle. See? One, two, three pieces of wood that all meet each other end to end. Oh, and look, here's another triangle in this part. Show me one more triangle. Well, uh, here, let me use your staff. I'll draw a triangle. One side, two sides, three sides. They all meet. See? A perfect triangle. Can I pass now? 
for a tune. A tune? You said it was free. I just had to show you three triangles to cross the bridge. To cross the bridge is completely free. But you must play a tune to pass by me. A one and a two and a... A worm? Oh, it is a worm. Oh, but it's a worm. We all know and love it. Slimy. Hi, little Slimy. Hi, Slimy. What's he doing here? I don't know. What should we do with him? I don't know. Put him on the empty seat next to you. Just put him down. Okay, Slimy. I'm going to put you on the seat. letting anybody watch the movie, Slimy. Watch the movie. That's what he wants to do. That's what he's doing here. He wants to watch the movie. Isn't that right, Slimy? Yes. So well, if you want to watch the movie, I got the perfect seat for you. Put him right here, baby. On your head? Yeah. Come on now, Slimy. Get up there. He's getting, getting up there. there. Yeah, yeah. Can hardly feel. How's he doing? Is he up there yet? Almost. Yeah? Yeah, there he is. He's up there. He's up there now. Now, Slimy, can you see the movie? What are you saying? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to move a little bit now, Slimy. Okay. Finally, you can watch the movie. Yeah. In peace and quiet. Pardon me, madam. Uh, would you mind removing that worm from the top of your head so I could see the movie, huh? First you take the apples and you put them into a box-like thing and you shove them on the conveyor belt, which takes them into the top of the cider mill, which grinds them up so the juice can be squeezed out of them. There's a bunch of them there. They're pushed over. They'll squeeze the apple juice out of the um, apples and the mush. And that's why they call them apple press.
We only picked 10 boxes, and out of that, we got 34 gallons of apple cider. Now that's what I call a real good movie. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked Let's it. drop Slimey off at the uh, Oscars can. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar. Doesn't sound like he's in. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's just open the can and drop Slimey in, okay, Slimey? Okay, that's okay. right, okay. It's, it's locked. locked. Gee, Oscar must be out of town. Well, we can't leave Slimey out here all by himself. What are we gonna do? We can't? No! <laughs> oh, Slimy, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, I don't know. I guess you're going to have to uh, take Slimy home with you. He's going to have to spend the night with you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, listen, good night. Thanks for an interesting evening. No hugging and kissing. How come? We are not alone. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters X and Y and by the number four. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.